How do I make compound shapes or spline objects that are made of more than one spline? We're going to start off by creating a spline object. So we'll just make a basic circle. And let me go ahead and make the perspective window nice and big for everybody. So we'll just draw out a circle like so. Now let's say I want to create another spline object that is actually a part of this object and not something separated. Well, you'll notice over here inside of your create panel, you have the start new shape uh, button that is automatically checked. Turn that off. And with that unchecked, create a new object, and it's being, your circle in this case has been created, but it's now a part of this original shape. It's not its own thing. So we create another one of these, and then maybe come over here and grab the line tool, and you'll notice that as I get done with the creation, as I finish off that creation, it picks up the exact same line color as our original object, just kind of giving you a visual cue that uh, they are being the same shape. So let's maybe create some really cool looking shape and we'll go ahead and close that and that's just awesome so now we'll right click and notice all three of these spline objects have the exact same color if i deselect and select any one of them all of them become selected so as i try to move them around notice they are all the same shape so we can go up under the modify panel let's drop on say an extrude modifier and we'll give that a little bit of an amount and you can see how that responds because all of these uh, spline objects were planar the extrusion takes them into account